essentially, the intellectual power, frankly, has been shifting in the favor of the daughters and the sons of Africa. And yet, those daughters and sons of Africa, frankly, don't seem to have taken advantage of that to add value so as to liberate their people back in Africa. Yeah. I just quickly like to say, uh, you know, this uh, one quick uh, issue on reconciliation. I think you Somalia have has learned. You have a minute, Faisal. Yes, some. Somalia had indigenous uh, reconciliation and one initiated by foreigners. The local initiated is doing well. The foreign power initiated is not doing well. I think with the African intellectual and why they didn't empower their local and their uh, you know, folks is simply because, Shaka, as you are very much aware of, we do research uh, not for the, for the continent and for the consumption of our people, but we do research for institutions that have funded our studies and ideas that are located outside. And you know, as long as you are disentangled from the day-to-day -day needs of the average African and your intellect and research is not feeding back uh, you know, the, the very stakeholders that you would have loved to, to, to report back to, uh, you know, some other person would take that and implement it the way they want. So I think the intellectual prowess is there in Africa but they are not institutionalized in a way that they are locally based and then they are feeding the stakeholders back in Africa. Thank you so much. Uh, even the local based uh, have, have, a lot, have a long way to go. Let me come to you, to Robin, you have the last word. Right. I do want to say something about the locally based uh, because I think that there are a lot of activists doing a lot of tough things and a lot of good things on the continent. So I don't want uh, us to leave that impression that that, that, that riches, richness is not there on the continent, because it is, and people are doing really interesting things and committed and really trying to provide that enabling environment that we talked about. But on security sector reform, I want to go back to that, because what I'm talking about is reforming the way that the security sector performs you today have, have on, the, on the continent. Uh, the last thing it would be would be maybe we go to elections too early. Mm -hmm. uh, on the continent. And I think that uh, the idea, sometimes the peace agreements are too quick, the elections are too quick, and you haven't built all the stakeholders in the process. And also the role of the West, my friend, mm -hmm. and a lot of other stakeholders, I think they need to begin to reevaluate the manner in which they have been doing business with a lot of these countries.